All right, just wanted to do a little update right now of where I'm at with this uh, Orange Pie 5 build that I've been working on. Um, I did scale back what I was looking at doing right now just to a 512 gigabyte micro SD card to make it more accessible for a lot of people instead of thinking that everybody would have a 6 to 10, uh, 10 terabyte uh, option to go with. Plus run into just some things with uh, emulation for things like the GameCube and uh, the Wii just not running the way that you would hope they would and until like the PS2 option or emulator becomes available within the build on Bodicer without me having to go and enforce it through. I'd rather have it be something that's supported for this uh, SBC. Um, yeah, I just want to kind of scale it back um, a little bit. I know you get those builds from people that have, you know, 100,000 games on there and I've opted to not go that route because that's usually just a bunch of filler crap that you just don't need. So right now as it stands, there's 10,229 games on here. I do have some space available. Just about 15 gigabytes. So if there's maybe any games for PlayStation, Dreamcast, possibly GameCube, we'll see how well that could run on here. Um, but something that you guys would be looking for to have on a build for the Orange Pi 5, let me know. I'm more than happy to throw it on. In about two to three weeks, I should be getting the Orange Pi 5 Plus, and so we'll see how some things run on there uh, compared to the slightly reduced uh, power of the processor on the Orange Pi 5. Um, Orange Pi 5 Plus, of course, having the the rock chip, the well, I think it's the 3588, uh, not cut back at all. It is the full full power of that processor right on it. So we'll see how some things go and then I'm going from an 8 gig of RAM on this one to the 16 gig for the Orange Pi 5 Plus. Um, still really reasonably priced chip as well, or a uh, board. And so things I was having issues with before, say like Street Fighter uh, Third Strike, uh, no issue. Um, <clears throat> got things uh, running a little bit better on here. We'll go to favorites. I'll just show some of this stuff. Uh, yeah, I'll show that one because I know that that was one that just ran absolutely horribly. Let's see here. If I can just... So, yeah. Um, big difference in how this is all working. And again, right now I'm using an Xbox One controller. So like I said, if there's any uh, requests on a game that you'd like to see maybe on here, um, I can kind of run through, show what I have on the Dreamcast and PlayStation as well. We'll turn the volume up a little bit. Welcome to the so I've been going through making sure there's no duplicates. So that's another reason why it's taking just a little bit longer. Um, I hate getting those builds where it's just 15 copies of the same arcade game. And then they're also including like the Dreamcast or PlayStation. As you can hear, compared to the last video that I did with the original stuff, uh, the audio is spot on, no lag, no stuttering at the audio, uh, got the bezels, I think working this time, I don't know if I had them last time, no I did, the bezel project going. Yeah, runs great, um, let's out and check out some of the other stuff, but like I said, right now if we go into this and check this out, uh, for similar games, you're going to find out that there's still some I need to go through. I guess there's like Genesis and Super Nintendo stuff. I'll keep those libraries full. Um, usually you can go through and get rid of like the Game Boy versions of this stuff usually because I don't think most people really want that. Like, yeah, sure, GBA. Um, Super Nintendo or Super Street Fighter, you got couple different versions from the original Super Nintendo, <laughs> the Mega Drive 
plus of the, the arcade or the rearranged audio. Super Nintendo with the uh, arcade audio, pretty much. Yeah, I kept the console versions of these games on, but you won't find duplicates of the arcade or the arcade equivalent on consoles. So like I said, Dreamcast versions of the game, PlayStation versions of the game, just taken out. So it's taking a little bit longer to do that, but I'd rather do it right and not have it be where you have multiple takes on it. This, there's the two-player version, four-player version, and I clearly went through and edited the, the metadata for it for the description showing down below which one is which. I'm going to be doing that with, uh, let's see, we'll go down. I've been doing this before with other uh, systems on another build I'm doing for a PC, I'm building for an arcade unit as well. Uh, like Sega Saturn, you've got Panzer Dragon Saga. And there's four discs for it, and I will be changing the description down below so it will show disc one of four, two of four, three of four, four of four, all that. Um, any multi-disc game, I will do that. And so, <clears throat> yeah, Sega Saturn, if there's any games that maybe you want to see on there, kind of do a little run through, just show which ones I have on here. And then I'll do, like I said, PlayStation, Dreamcast, kind of show those off, and then GameCube to show what I put in here. just to make sure that it's not just all what I would normally play or what I, my kids would want to play. So if there's something in here that you see that you don't like, let me know. But like I said, let me know what you do like. And I can see about throwing stuff in there. I can probably get rid of this one. I know I have the arcade. And so, uh, this is kind of nice. I can just see if I have the arcade one on here. I do. I will get rid of the Dreamcast one. I don't see a point of having uh, multiple versions of the same thing. This one I, looks like I don't have the exact game, so I'll keep that Dreamcast version on. I know a lot of this won't work exactly with arcade controllers. But if you plug it in an Xbox controller, PlayStation controller, something, you know, you can play this stuff. Even these, I think I can go back and scale back on some of this. Yeah, I even got two multiple versions. I still need. Let's see. It's a matter of finding out which ones I don't need so I don't have them taking up extra space. Sorry that I did that in the middle of this video, that doesn't need to be done right now. Now I'll go into the PlayStation stuff, or I, even PSP. Got the God of War games on here, they run really well.
figure out to put the PlayStation and uh, the N64 version on here. Really, I haven't gotten rid of any of the N64 games because they just take up so little space. I don't like how some of the logos don't really show up that well on the left. I think I'll probably get rid of this one because I even have it on the Dreamcast, so we'll look into that. And I believe I can even look at getting rid of I don't need to do that right now. I'll go through and make sure I just have a functioning good arcade version compared to a bunch of uh, console versions that aren't really needed. Kept Tony Hawk 1 and 2 on the Dreamcast, 3 and 4 for the PlayStation. I can do, even reverse if you want and just have the resolution bumped up. <clears throat> but yeah, so that's that. The Mega Drive MSU, I would go through importing different box arts because um, just scraping wasn't doing anything for it, and so not all of them had them available. Like that, or Jim. And so when they were available, I used them. If not, you got some duplicates too because I, I could just probably use regular uh, or use the Golden Axe 2 box art. But the video matches at least the proper game. Definitely don't want to get copyright strike by playing that because this one is the one with the full lyrics for the, the music. Same thing with Rock and Roll Racing of the Genesis, with the MSU version for the Mega Drive. <clears throat> the music is actually the the proper. <laughs> tracks and not just instrumental versions of them, so that's fun to play with. Two different versions, I labeled them just to make sure that this one is the arranged one, this one is the arcade audio one. I know I probably don't need the console versions of these, but some people grew up playing that over the arcade one and wanted to keep that on there. But like the fighting games, usually there's not that big of a difference between Dreamcast and PlayStation, like I said, in the uh, console versions. So yeah, there's a lot. Um, like I said, just want to get at least an update video out. Let me know about any requests that you guys may have for a game or two to be thrown on here. Um, just so there's some variety, maybe, you know, with some feedback that you guys have, even like the 3DO. I didn't put too much on here. Sorry, I put this on because I know my wife's going to really love that uh, with her being a marine biologist and just animals in general. So, Dragon's Lair, Mad Dog 1, Mad Dog 2, vice versa, how I said it, Space Ace. Um, 3DO games, let me know what you'd like to see on there too if you have any. Uh, preferences as well. And so, I'm going to wrap it up on this one. Um, yeah, uh, just thanks for the interest that some of you have been uh, showing with this, and I don't know when I'll have this done, how exactly I make it available, because like I said, it's been a lot of time that I've been investing to put this together, so um, I'm going to see what my options are, because I daily have been putting probably about three to four hours into this after coming home from work and spending time with my family too, so it's been definitely a, a little bit of labor going into this, so um, I'll try to keep you updated when I get things going, uh, with the official image being set to be uploaded and where it'll be available and <clears throat> what I'll be doing with that, so uh, yeah, take care, you guys have a good one, bye.